What's up everybody? Ty Ram here with Rome with the Rams. We're getting ready to head out today. We are in the high desert, Southern California, but we are going to the lower desert. We're gonna spend some, some time over there. We're gonna to go to an RV show. We're gonna be in the desert. We're gonna boondock. We're gonna do some gold prospecting. The kids are gonna run around crazy and not, uh, they're gonna make all kinds of noise and we're just not gonna care about it. And so we're ready to go. Um, it's been nice here. It's been kind of rainy and kind of not too cold, but cold. But we're uh, enjoying it and we're on the road today. We gotta get our smoker in. We got our pit boss smoker here. We got our foldable Sondors e bikes. We got a 20 inch Swin over there, Ripper for Michaela. <laughs> a 12 incher for Aliyah over there. She's ready for the X Games. And Asher's inside eating all his pancakes and stuff, getting ready to go so he can do a whirlwind everywhere. But we're ready. We're muddy and we're gonna get loaded up. Today is adventure day. We are traveling to our next spot. So let's go. Let's do it. So on the way over to this location where we are at right now, this tire got a big old bolt in it, popped on the road. We had to plug it on the road. We had to come back. We had to, uh, we made it home. We made it to our next spot, but um, it took us a little bit. We had to air up our uh, tire a couple times over that it charged in the truck, but we got it fixed up. It's patched and it's holding air like never before. And that's gonna, uh, that's gonna be our adventure for this last the trip. The only thing, good thing about it is the mud keeping the air and tire in it. The mud is holding all of the air in the tire, so we didn't even have to patch it. The mud is keeping it uh, full and uh, <laughs> not really. So we're in the trailer now, and as always, my wife is great about putting the vacuum away and uh, wrapping the cord up. So um, now that she's got that all situated, I can bring all the other stuff in. So let's lay down our mats, get our bikes in here, our grill, the stuff that we carry in the trailer. Okay, so I guess we're all loaded up. I hope I got everything. I gotta go walk around and see if I uh, left anything out. And just like that, we made it to our next spot for a few days. And then we're going to an awesome spot, boondocking. And we're taking you with us. So we're getting our day started. Michaela's getting her schoolwork done. So is Aaliyah over there. This is real life RV living right here. Check this out, guys. We got dishes in the sink, clothes all over the ground. We got a jacket hanging on the vacuum there. We got everything going on over here, down over there. Instapot on the floor. This is real. This is how you keep it real in RV life. Right, babe? Yeah. All right. This thing's dirty, it was raining. Someone already cleaned this right here, but I'm about to clean it off. Wow. 
We are on our way out. We got all of our stuff pretty much, not really packed in yet, but as you saw, we got the trailer nice and clean. I used some bug remover and I got some bugs all off of the top of that. We got it pressure washed on the top. Yeah, so we're in the desert, but we're headed to the desert an hour or so away. And we are gonna meet up with a whole bunch of other people in the RV community and probably hit the RV show. We made it to Quartzsite, Arizona. We are on La Posa. We are on La Posa South. We are currently getting our permit to stay on the BLM land and the permit is going to allow us to use the water and the dump station. And so that's why we're getting the permit and then we're gonna go find a place. But yeah, the water and the dump station is gonna be um, highly necessary because you need to fill up with water and you need to dump that tank. Right girls? Uh-huh, but actually, it's $40 for everything. Look. We are just getting everything set up and enjoying the sunset. That's our first day, our first evening at Quartzsite. Hello. Hello. What are you guys building? A fire pit. A bed? A fire yeah. pit? Yeah? Yeah. Cool. All right, good morning. First morning in Quartzsite, and we've got a pretty awesome view. I don't know if you guys can see that. Actually, actually you can't see that. Maybe over here. Last night, I decided to make these overnight oats. It's oats overnight. And I've never made oats overnight. I just make my oatmeal in the morning usually. But you sit this in the, in the and, I, and it's milk. I don't use milk in my oats, I use water. But this calls for it. We're gonna see what it's like. Um, it's set in on, oh, all right, what am I talking about? All right, I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. Kind of weird, kind of watery. I don't know if I'm gonna like it, but I'm gonna eat it. Cause it's got 20 grams of protein. That's pretty good. Seven fats and I think like 39 carbs. So those are the macros for this. First reaction, here we go. First taste is good. You can taste the protein powder in it. Little chalky, but it's not bad. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. And it's already made in the morning. But really, I can make this myself. I was looking at the, the ingredients. They're pretty good. Pretty natural. I know a lot of people make these on their own, but this uh, tastes pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> so before we take off and explore, I gotta put my lock on, my hitch. Make sure no one can just pull up and take off with our trailer, but we got plenty of trailers around here. Gonna take our handy dandy key right here. We're gonna take our handy dandy key right here. Are you feeling me? Mm-hmm. Are you sure? You're not mm -hmm. even licking? We're gonna take it off here, like this. Right? Mm-hmm. Like so. And then we're going to take the pin out, put it like this, put it in there, and then we're going to screw it back in. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Okay, one. There we go. I'll twist my big old key around. There we go. Now we'll just take the key out. Like that. And we are safeties. Does that make any sense? We're safeties? <laughs> Marked safe. Now we'll get a, a shot of our spot, okay? So that's our spot. Nice and cozy. We're gonna get the all day sun because it's gonna go up there and down right over there. So 
yeah, I want that sunshine. It's gonna keep us warm and charge our Blue Eddy. Be riding far in front of us. Day one here at Quartzsite, and we're getting ready to go out on a bike ride. Trying to. show and it's completely packed out so we passed by it because we need to find parking so now that's where we're headed come on we're packed in some soft sand but it will do right babe yep yeah baby yeah All right, there's the tent right in front of us so let's go check it out Today we just wanted to scope it out, see what was here, and then we're gonna come back in a few days. Right. Here we go. All right, day two. Court site. Look at that, would you? Letting the kids just run around everywhere. There's a cool old mine over there on those mountains. We're gonna take the truck over there and cruise in a minute. But first, I gotta get my workout in. Okay, here's my gym, right there. All right, we're back at Court Site RV Show, day two. We're gonna check out some stuff that we didn't get to check out yesterday. We got a good parking today, it's not as packed out, but this whole wash is full of cars. Check it out. That way. Well, it was a lot more busy yesterday. But we're here, let's go check it out. Okay, so we're in a solitude right now by Grand Design, and we kind of like this layout a little bit. It has a huge kitchen, which is really cool. And then, and it actually has two masters, so it has this one. Now, of course, having the kids, I would take the bed out, put a bunk there, and then turn this into a kid room. Plus, it has a full bath in the back, so you can check that out. Stay tuned, make sure you subscribe to see more Quartzsite adventures in our next video and how we raised our truck back to life.